So I'm out in the garden today and I thought I would do a little bit of an update. Quite a few of the red potatoes that hadn't come up before finally did come up and are doing pretty good. The King Harry potatoes are just the best thing in the garden pretty much. They look fantastic. The Amish paste tomatoes are looking pretty sad. They're growing really, really slowly. And in fact, tomatoes that are like furthest down closer to the house kind of are doing the poorest. And I think that soil or whatever you want to call it down there is just the worst. Melons are looking pretty good. I'm actually really happy with how they're growing. I suspect that for some reason there is slightly better soil down here. I kind of noticed that when we were planting these. I'm not sure why that is, but it seems to be the case. All the rows of corn are up and growing slow, but I think these will probably be okay. Peanuts are all up, growing slow. We'll see how they do. My green beans are up. I did plant my green beans in between like one and a half rows of corn. Kidney beans and pinto beans in this row right here, growing slow. One of the things that is doing the worst is actually my peppers. I highly doubt I'm going to get any peppers out of them. They almost look exactly the same as they did the day I planted them. And as I kind of already mentioned, this section, this kind of square section here, is where I have my eating tomatoes and stuff, Spanish onions. I highly doubt I'm going to get any onions out of this dirt. The walking onions are down here, and they don't look too bad. They could definitely look better. Right here, I have two tobacco plants. They're growing slowly, but they're growing. Surprisingly, my lettuce and uh, brassicas were looking pretty sad, but actually they have really bounced back and have been growing really well lately. My sunflowers are coming up. Did two rows of sunflowers here, and we've been bringing the baby chicks out and uni and putting them in their new little coop that we made. There's only one chicken that needs to feather out and we call him the runt. He actually has like two crooked toes so it's questionable if he'll even be able to roost but he kind of like lags behind all the others. Yesterday I did some mulching on the pintos and kidney beans. It was like over 100 degrees and it was super humid in the middle of the day trying to do it and I was just like not doing this today. It's actually really nice today so I'm gonna finish up mulching these guys. Bessie's getting some doctoring today. The hydraulics started getting real sluggish. Like I still had power to lift stuff with the, with the front end loader. But even the steering and uh, and the uh, bucket and everything just started getting slower and slower, like really sluggish and jerky. Decided to go ahead and do a uh, hydraulic fluid change out and filters and whatnot. There's actually a suction strainer. This is definitely the problem. This is after I cleaned it. That thing was so coated with gunk. I don't know how the hydraulics were working at all. I'm going to put it back in, put some uh, new hydraulic fluid in it. So I went ahead and got the uh, motor oil and filter and everything too. seen much promising progress so far so they keep coming back for the feeder every day the sugar shirt we make for them maybe our bees took off and left maybe this is some wild bee that is just coming and foraging and what I'm hoping for some of them will like take to our queen yeah enough to get this going again you be like oh um, wow look at this amazing house it's already made uh <laughs> there's already comb in here turnkey <laughs> <laughs> you know you already got a you got a queen ready to go yeah. all that i don't know um, yeah it's very discouraging it is but mm -hmm. we haven't completely given up yet no She's released. Oh. 
They got her out. She wanted to come. Hmm. Oh, there she is. She's still in the house? She's down here on the bottom. Queen has made her way to the middle opening in the hive here. Her a whole bunch of the bees are just clumped up around her, strangely. We're going to need quite a bit more hay mulch for doing the rows of corn, which I want to do really soon. Glenn is going ahead and he is cutting us some hay today. Are they sign of the queen anywhere? Nope, not sure. Oh, wow. Dead or alive. What a shame. Of course, I guess it was a long shot anyway. Yeah, but it was looking like we had hope yesterday. Yeah. Except for she was never getting on the comb. Well, I guess that's the end of the bee saga. They're officially gone. And not coming back. That all depends on that queen, and I don't know what happened to her. If she died in here, I would think she would still be in here. Right. Yeah, it looks like they just left. <laughs>